Hey guys, I'm Mike Tarallo with Click, and welcome to video seven in this series on getting started with Click Cloud. In the last video, we created an app thumbnail to give visual identification for your app, and we created it with Adobe Express. In this video, we're going to continue with the different styling features that are available within Sheets and Charts. I hope you're enjoying this series as much as I am presenting it. My job is to intrigue you and make you want to learn more. Let's get started. Okay, to get started, we are going to use an existing ClickSense app, and here I have one called Retro Sales Analysis, already defined with a nice visual thumbnail. When I open up that app, it brings us to the app overview page, where I can define my sheets and then eventually make them public or make them private again, depending on how I'm working or co-developing with someone, as I explained in earlier videos in the series. I'd like to create a new sheet, and we'll give this one a name. And we'll call it retro sales analysis and then just click the sheet to open it up now when you open the sheet it might bring you into the simplified authoring mode where you can define your visualizations you can also switch over to advanced options for this video we're going to start in advanced options so i can show you all of the different styling features available to you Okay, so this is where your journey begins to understand the different features and capabilities of styling, whether it's a sheet, a chart, or an app itself. I'll make sure to add chapters in the YouTube description. That way you can jump to the different sections if needed. Now, the first thing I do want to point out is that if you switch from simplified authoring to advanced options, there's usually a chart placeholder. So in this case, you might have already created a visualization. It might already be there and that's fine. But to start from scratch, I'm just going to delete this placeholder by activating it and then right clicking and selecting delete. So here are your sheet properties. Here you can change the title. You can create a dynamic title with an expression. You can create show conditions, add a description, and then even add a thumbnail to visualize the particular sheet within the app overview. Now you'll notice there's a styling link here. This will allow you to change the background of the entire sheet. I can choose, for example, like a single color, or I could reset it. I can also change the color by an expression, utilizing a expression within the data or creating a calculated expression. Or I could even add a background image. So here I'm just gonna select a simple image from the library just to show you what it looks like. And you can do that as well. This comes in handy when you subscribe to a particular sheet and export it to PowerPoint. That way you have your own corporate branded look and feel within the PowerPoint presentation. So right now I'm just going to revert this back to the default. You also have the ability to reset everything here. Now, the other thing I want to point out is you have grid spacing. So if you need finer tuning on the positioning of your elements or objects, you can change the grid. So by default, it's set to wide. If I choose medium, you can see the grids get smaller, narrow, even smaller. And then with custom, they give you a slider where you can change the positioning of the slider and it will increase or decrease the grid spacing. So depending on how tightly you want to size your objects, you can adjust this grid spacing accordingly. I'm going to select medium now just for the video. Now next you'll see the input for sheet size. By default it's set to responsive, but you also have the ability to select custom. Responsive basically means that all the objects on the screen are going to auto adjust depending on the layout and form factor of the device, whether it's a monitor or a tablet or a phone, whether you're turning your device uh, vertical or horizontal, they will automatically adjust all of the elements on the screen. Custom is more of a fixed width and height of a particular layout. Uh, this is good when creating, for example, operational type reports or pixel perfect reports that you want to use with our report service available in app automation or when you're creating exports with a PDF or PowerPoint. So it just gives you another level of control on the size and layout. And you can do that by utilizing uh, pixel width and height. For this video, we're just going to leave it as responsive for now. Small screen layout mode, list view and grid view. This is for mobile apps. 
Um, if you're going to be utilizing, for example, a vertical view, you can choose whether you want your objects to kind of wrap in a row or display across within a grid. And then there's extend sheet, depending on how many objects you want to put on the sheet. If I turn that on and click extend sheet, you could make a nice scrolling sheet as long as you want by adding objects. It's pretty good if you want to create like an infographics uh, type of visualization. In this case, I'm just going to shut off extended sheet. Okay, so these are some of the properties for the sheet. Now, other styling properties for the app, if I go up to the title, you'll notice that I could expand that by clicking this little arrow. Again, you've seen me do this if I wanted to change the title, the description, or the thumbnail of the app. Or if I press the settings app options gear, you can change different themes. Now, I'm not going to go into themes specifically in this video, perhaps in a later video, because themes are created right now through the use of code. Uh, there are also third parties that actually have created uh, theme websites and packages that generate the theme for you that you can upload. But this is a quick way of, of changing a number of different properties defined with JSON and uh, cascading style sheets or CSS code. So I don't have any objects here by default, but you do have some default themes with your apps that you could actually change. Right now for this, I'm just going to use Sense Classic. Now we have added additional sheet and styling properties and chart properties uh, in the product, which would allow you to rely less on themes as well. So just know that. So if I wanted to change the title styling, I'm going to go over to this section here. I could choose a color. For example, maybe we just start out with a, uh, a light blue and we'll end off with a white because it uses sort of a gradient look. And then maybe just add an image. In this case, I have the uh, click logo. I'm going to insert that. And then font color, I'm just going to change that to white. And there's some alignment options as well. Okay, so this is just some additional sheet title styling. There's additional appearance options and additional app capabilities. These don't really have anything to do with styling at the moment, so you could ignore those at this time. And you can click the close button and the title to collapse it. And that will set up the additional sheet styling features. Okay, so I think we did enough for this particular video here. We're going to end it here and in the next part of the series of styling the ClickSense apps and sheets and charts, we're going to focus now on chart styling and additional capabilities that we added within the properties panel. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.